Hi scientists, Professor Beakers here. Welcome to the Beakers Lab. Today, we are going to be looking all around for things that share this planet with us. Can you guess what they might be? Well, go ahead and get your apron, your safety goggles, mom, dad, or another adult, and meet me back here so we can find out. See you soon. adventure looking all around for all kinds of animals like Lulu Llama and Doggo and Ellie the elephant. Say hi Ellie. And we are going to talk about a certain kind of animal today. They are called vertebrates. Can you say vertebrate? Great job. What is a vertebrate? A vertebrate is an animal with a backbone. A backbone? Do you have a backbone? Hmm, let me see. I have a backbone. Do you? Yes, I think you have a backbone. So we know what that is. So a vertebrate is an animal with a backbone. Vertebrates have classes of animals based on things they share in common, like how they breathe air or things that cover their bodies or how they reproduce. So we will talk about those classes. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So how do they breathe? Do they use lungs like us <sighs> or do they have gills? Hmm, have you heard of gills? Can you say gills? Good job. How about their body temperature? Can you say temperature? I think we learned that word. Good job. So are they warm blooded? Can you say warm blooded? Or are they cold blooded? Can you say cold blooded? Good. If you're warm blooded, you have the same temperature all the time. If you're cold blooded, you can change based on your environment. If it's cold outside, you can be cold. If it's warm, you can warm up. Pretty cool, right? How do you reproduce? Hmm. Do you lay eggs to make babies or do you give birth to live babies? We're going to look at those different things. Let's see. Uh, coverings, feathers, and scales. Do you have scales? Or what else can you have? Do you have smooth, slimy skin? Or do you have dry skin? We'll look at those different things too. Hmm. What do you have, Lulu? You have soft fur like Ellie and Doggo. So let's talk about our classes. Are we ready? Okay, the first one, they are called mammals. Can you say mammals? Good job. And mammals, they have fur. Hmm. They are warm blooded. Hmm. They give birth to live young. Okay, that's good. Make sure you have your cards out that we sent you so you're following along. Okay, we want to make sure you learn these really well. Now, look at your little cards that we sent you and I want you to go find your mammals. Can you go find your mammals? Good job. The next class of vertebrates we're going to talk about are called birds. I'm sure you've heard birds before. So they are also warm blooded. They have, do they have fur? Mm, no. What do they have? They have feathers and wings. Do they give birth to live young or lay eggs? What do you think? They lay eggs. And do they breathe with gills or with lungs? They breathe with lungs. Good job. Okay, so we covered birds. Can you go find some birds in your cards? Good job. Now, let's talk about another class of vertebrates called reptiles. Yes, reptiles. They are cold-blooded and they are covered in feathers so they can fly? No, no, no. They are covered in scales and they have dry skin. They need some lotion. No, maybe don't rub lotion on your reptiles. Um, and they, so we know they're cold blooded. They have dry skin and scales. And do they give birth to live young? Well, some of them do actually, not very many, but most of them lay eggs. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now the next class of vertebrates we're gonna talk about are fish. Have you heard of fish? Pretty cool, I like fish. Now, fish are cold blooded and they are covered in fur. No, that would be silly. Um, they are covered in scales and they have fins. Could they swim if they had fur? Probably not. So fins, they are cold-blooded and they give birth 
How? With eggs. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now the next class of vertebrates, they are called amphibians. Can you say amphibians? Good job. Amphibians are cold-blooded and they can breathe, this is pretty cool, with lungs on the land and with gills in the water. What? So cool, right? Wish I could do that. And how do they give birth? They lay eggs. Good job, guys. So I hope you've been going through your cards and finding your animals because what you're gonna be doing is so much fun. You're gonna be doing your sorting game. So you're going to find the column for each of your classes of vertebrates and make sure you put them in the right class, okay? So I have a question for you. We know we have a backbone. Do you have fur or hair? Hmm, wait, I have hair. Do I have some fur? I have little hair right here. Hmm. Do we lay eggs? No, but we do give birth to live young. Wait a second. We have a backbone, we have hair and fur, and we give birth to live young. Wait, are we mammals? We are. How cool is that? I love science. Okay, good job, guys. So your first activity is to get to know your classes of vertebrates. Can you do that? All right, high five, high five. Say good job, Lulu. Say good job, Allie. Good job, Doggo. Oh, 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 come back. All right, guys, I will see you when you come back so we can talk about some other animal friends that I think you will want to meet. We'll see you later.